Hello, gorgeous, and welcome. Um, you're not going to actually see this on the day uh, due to technical difficulties, i.e. all these storms and tornadoes we've had in the Midwest, but happy goth day. It's National Goth Day today, so I thought I would do a nice, dark, gothy type look. Um, so I'm completely unmade, unprimed, un-anythinged. So we will give her a start here. I'm going to start with a little, this is Kiehl's, and it's Recovery Concentrate Oil, because it, for whatever reason, it is humid as heck outside, but because it's been raining so much, I've had all the windows closed, and it's just dry, dry, dry. So we're going to get some good moisture going on. All right. And then, of course, we are going to prime with my favorite, the Urban Decay Optical Illusion. Now my skin feels happy. Okie dokie. So there's that. And we're going to do our Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation here. And it comes with a weird little spatula. Still trying to get used to that business. All right, I have used this a few times now, and the Wet n Wild photo focus that I've heard people just absolutely rave about, it's, let me see if I can scooch in far enough here, it's just kind of patchy, and it makes my forehead look dry um said in the last video i was having problems with it that's why i had bangs um i am not a fan this stuff is just it does not make me happy it does not bring me joy so I think this is going to go, oh, maybe in the girlfriend bag. If, if I have a friend that wants to try it, if they like it, they can have it. Obviously, I'm not going to do it in a giveaway because I have used the product. But, you know, between myself and my girlfriends, we, do, we will swap some stuff back and forth. So, not happy. All right, and this is going to be the Maybelline Age Rewind for the dark circles. Put it on the lids. And of course, the indent. Let 
I'm even using the black blender today. Okay, we've got real bad dark circles today, so we're going to take some more. We had some more super bad storms last night. And the Yorkies kind of kept me up. Okay, that is better. All right, next, brows. And I'm going to use the AOA Sculpting Brow Pencil. And this is in the dark brown. And then I'm going to go over it with a little bit of darker powder. This is not quite dark enough for me, but I've got darker coming, so yep, there the fuzz. I think I got this one a little too short. difficulties. All right, so we are going in with my well, well loved little palette here, little four pack. And this is the way I've always done this one. I do the white first. And I go all the way around just under the eyebrow. And I actually do the layer of white first all over the lid then. Just gives me something to, to lay everything down with. And I'm going to take that same brush and go into the light gray. And go all over the lid with that. It is a very light gray, so it is kind of hard to see. And since we've got that powder on, if we do get any fallout, which is Judge it right off. I'm going to go in with another big fluffy brush. I'm going to do the dark gray and just kind of build it all in. And this one I'm doing with more stamping motion. It's on the lid and it's just above the crease as well. I'm bringing it about halfway in. Kind of 
blender in, do a little windshield washer motion. And these are all shimmery shades in here. So there are no mattes. Smaller brush. Where are you? <laughs> there we go. This is my little kind of round packer brush here. I'm going in to the black. They're all packed up. Nice and pretty. And then work on the outside corner. And we're going to bring that in just in the crease. And pull it out just a little. Drag it in from the corner a little. There we go. I know, it's a moment, it's a look. stuff it does take a bit to to build it up while you're doing that and then I'm gonna take the dark gray kind of smoke out the under under the lash line here again not terribly worried about any of the little fallout And again, bringing it just about halfway or three quarters. There we go. And I did get a little bit of powder in my eyes. All right. So close them up. off the powder underneath. All right. So there is that. Now a little something over the top of the lid. What shall we use? What are we thinking? Put a little bag of tricks here and see what, hmm, how about this? This is that Wet n Wild Metallic Eyeshadow. Now, something 
I did notice when I went through and I said, ooh, it is black with green. I don't know if I'll be able to show it to you because it shows up purple here. When you look at it off camera without all the bright light, it is actually green and gold glitter in here, but you get it in the light, it turns purple. It's the strangest thing ever. Let's put some of that down here in the ends. Oh, oh my. We may have either made this really cute or we may have ruined it. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's just. Fill in the whole. The whole half. So I don't want to take it too far in. And let's see if we can blend that with that brush I just had that I put back <laughs> that I can't find. That's pretty much it. When it's set, it's set. It's not blending, it's not budging, it's not going anywhere. All right. And we'll do blind, little blinding pop of color there in the corner. If I can find her. Didn't. I was unprepared. I didn't pull everything out. Thought I did. All right. And this is from Meech and Mia. And it, oh, this is such a pretty color. It is a white powder, but it's got a gold iridescent to it. I'm going to put that in the corner here. Just give it a little boom right there. Alrighty, and then we need a nice black liner. And I am now at the point where I need storage boxes for all of this. So I usually keep everything little makeup cases and this is just eyeliners yeah this is just eyeliners and a few mascaras which need to be actually thrown away um bt dubs this amuse liquid liner that i got from shop miss a garbage absolute garbage so that one is going in the circular file. I don't want to wear the cat. There we go. We'll go with the Ico. Because that one is good stuff. Let me go in the trash pile. Give it a little shaky shake here. Oh, 
right, and let's wing her out. right in the eye. Here we go. Look at you, first time, no fuss, no muss. Maybe a little muss. <laughs> <coughs> Now, let's do a lip. I've kind of been saving this. <sighs> I bought this because I saw Cece Clark do a black lip with like a gold over the top of it and it was gorgeous. I tried it once on myself with no makeup on and I went, oh, that's hideous. So it may still be hideous. We will find out, but we'll start with the black and hope for the best. Okay, we're going in. Mmm, this stuff is patchy. And it's a wish item, like I think I said. And I finally figured out what wish stands for. I wish it worked better. This is going to be fun to take off later. I have never before done black lips. And now I know why. <laughs> oh, oh, this is a look. I think we need to put something. I don't know. It's World Goth Day, so I should leave them be. But I really want to put something over the top of it. Because that is... Mm, 
so dry. I feel like a little fish out of water. Let's see. Let's try. This is another wish. It's Farah. And shade 309 Russell. It's a little glitter over the top of that. And that's like an iridescent copper. Mm. Mm. That's better. Ew. All right, we're going to have to clean her off. All right. So we need mascara and lashes and cheeks. We have no cheeks. No cheeks. What do we want to do for cheeks? Let's do something fun. Let's do something. Going in. This may have just become World Zombie Day. channel my inner Morticia Adams here. Hair. Ah. This one's just a hair too dark and it's not blending well. Tame that up a little bit. All right. And go in very lightly with this Lumi Shadow Blush. And this is the pink and silver. I have a pink and gold. And that went in the giveaway box. So, if you've stuck with us this long, we are doing, we are doing a giveaway when I hit 100 subscribers. So, tell your friends, your co-workers, your family members, subscribe because if I keep adding things and I don't hit a hundred subs I'm gonna have this huge box of nothing
or a huge box of stuff to give away to nobody. Just saying, y'all. All right. Highlighter. Let's do that gorgeous Notoriously Morbid highlighter that Mazias sent me. The white one, the White Raven. Mm, so pretty. And this is that white one. Ah, that I just, I poked the skull. I'm sorry, Mr. Skullbones. I'm sorry. I hurt you. Okay, that, my light. It does horrible things. Let me try and swatch. Let's try the other arm. It's not directly in the path of that light. There she is. All right. Give her a good swirl. Oh, gracious. Stop, just focus. Mm. So we are going to do mascara and lashes. And I am going to go ahead and do that off camera and cut out some time here. So we'll be right back. So we are back. Lashes are on mascaras on the bottoms little lily monster streak going on so that is it so happy world goth day and i will see you in the next video where i'm going to do lash application lash care for the different types of lashes, you have a spooky day. Loves.